Hey everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. On this video, we're going to be doing the side quest, The Weasel. And this one is back at Apollodorus' estate. Okay, he should be right around here. Although I'm not seeing him. Oh wait, is this him? This must be him. <gasps> yes, yeah, right over here. Told her to hurry back. You, Neb, are young and your legs are strong. Perfect for my needs. A pigeon arrived not long ago. I sent Ruya to fetch it, but she is so unreliable. Probably batting her eyes at the Master of Arms. If I see her. Never mind her. I want my letter. Run up to the Pigeon Tower and fetch it. All news is important to us these days. All right, Stuart. I will see what I can do. The Weasel. Bayek meets Apollodorus' steward, who asks him to run to the Pigeon Tower and retrieve a letter. At Apollodorus' farm, the steward, Pelias, is waiting for Ruya to bring him a letter. When she takes too long, Pelias sends Bayek to fetch the letter from the Pigeon Tower for him. The reward is 1,000 experience, and we need to reach the Pigeon Tower. Which is right around the corner. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. He will kill himself. The pigeons are in a ruckus. What has upset them? An ill omen. How did that charcoal get spilled? Such a mess. Blood. Still fresh. Got some treasure up there, too. The railing broke, and someone went over it. Alright, we'll check that out in a second. We gotta get those shinies. Alright, back to the investigation. Whoops, it's going for the hair. Oh, now you jump in it. Lot of blood. Where's the body? I cannot leave you here. I will take you back to Pelias for the proper rights. Poor Ruya. If you had only known how to make such a leap. What did you get yourself into? Beasts, with the faces of men, prey on the weak and powerless. We cannot simply show our bellies to the jackals that plague our land. Oh, is that some goodies? Well, we gotta pick these up. Ruya's not in that big of a hurry. How do I get over there? No. <laughs> well, we'll worry about that later. I saw shiny things, I got distracted. Back to the task at hand. By the gods. Ruya. What happened? She was thrown to her death from the Pigeon Tower. Your letter. Why was she killed? That is the badge worn by Dimnos, our master of arms. Why did she have it? I will find out soon enough. Mm -hmm. 
poor, poor girl. May you walk in the field of reed. Okay, speak to Dimnos, the master of arms. Dimnos, I'm looking for Ruya. Why would I know where that peasant is? Perhaps because she has your badge. Shit. Well, she was just an Egyptian dog. No matter. Why did you do it? Truth? I didn't mean to kill her. Only teach her a lesson for her insolence. She refused to read a letter for me. You must confess to Peleus. I suppose you want the same fate as Ruya. You stupid Egyptian. I'll teach you the same lesson she learned. Come. Try. Alright, well, I could just sleep him and assassinate him, but let's actually fight him. Put that beat down. Alright, here we go. We're gonna parry him. You ready for this? Boom! Perfect! Master at arms, please. Hmm. The letter he mentioned. Demnos's letter. Demnos, I cannot believe you have entered the service of Apollodorus. He serves that Egyptian woman, in a country where women urinate standing up while the men sit down. It is all backwards. Leave them, and come join me in Cyrene. There are many fat merchants to fleece. Alcandros. Let's see, does the item say anything extra? Letter to Demnos, a letter found on the body of Demnos, the master of arms. No, it does not. We do have some treasure here. How nice of him to leave that for me. And I think that's it. Those over there are quivers. So, back to Peleus. Was it Dimnos? Yes. He killed Ruia out of base cruelty. And he died because he thought I was also less than a person. What a senseless tragedy. She was a smart girl with a good heart. Quest completed, 1,000 experience, and that is enough to get me to level 18. And I believe that gets me up to three ability points. That it does, so we're gonna get Adrenaline 2 ridiculously overpowered. Uh, you always start a conflict with a full Adrenaline gauge. Let's do it. Alright, let's go complete some locations. We're gonna go back to Alexandria. And I think we'll hit up that boat, and then we'll jump over to there. So, fast travel to here. Let's go, horse. Alright, so down there. What's that guard doing? Oh, he's not after me. Alright, that's the boat we're looking for. The Emporian Birth Trireme. Two guys there, another there, and another there, and I believe that's it. Uh, best not to draw attention here. So, how do we want to do this? I might be able to just assassinate that guy without being seen. The one to my right. Let's try it. Alright, let's harass him. Get him distracted. Why is it not working? Um. Hmm. Can he not harass those? I guess not. Well, the little guy will work. Sleep for you. Well, we'll kill him really quick. 
And we'll just fight these two. Want some of this? Have a parry. Oh, I mistimed it. That's all right. He done. Rush him. Boom. Getting better at the combat. All right, here is the treasure that should complete the location. And just a few things to pick up. Okay, moving on. We may as well mark the next one. Over there. And let's see if my horse is still there. He is such a good horse. Staring at the wall. Up a baby. I need someone for one quick job. Good coin. Perhaps later, my good man. Ha! <laughs> Stay there, you're funny. Alright, so it's that building over there. And I believe it's an armory. Although it doesn't look like one, it looks like a barn. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's dismount back here. And luckily, Sinu can see through walls, so I can just sort of scan back and forth, get people marked. And there's at least four. That's all I'm picking up. Okay, we'll figure it out. Got five sleep darts, that should be plenty. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm just hanging out in the grass, don't mind me. Apparently we've cut a lot more than I thought. Unless they're gonna move on, but it doesn't look like it. Looks like they're here to stay. Hmm, well this complicates it. Let's send out Senna. Oh my god, is that more coming in? Hmm. Well, I don't like this. Perhaps if I have Sinu attack that guy, they'll all be too distracted to see me. And I can go in through the side. What are you doing? Okay, well that got me away from there at least. Let's try the other side. Yes, perhaps this will be better. I should be cautious around here. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Lady, don't give me away! Ah, oh, stupid woman. Alright, well that's the captain. I should sleep him. Like so. <laughs> Got a mid-leap. Alright, take this! Oh, bad times for you. Uh, let's sleep you. Alright, just these three. I believe some sleep darts are in order. One, two... Yeah, screw it. Let's go three. Actually, he's just a bowman. We'll run up on him. You got nothing. Alright, it should be everyone. This dude's just muttering about something. Okay, nothing above. We got this junk right here that should complete the location. 
It did. That's worth 150 experience. And I think we've got it all after these two bags. Yep. Oh, wait. There is something up there. What is that? Okay, now we're good. So, let's go do a Hippodrome tournament. We got two left. Alright, tournaments. Soul and Degas Cursus Magnus. Or Soul and Degas's Cursus Magnus. A great race of Canopos. Can you earn the honor of Soul and Degas? Alright, as usual, we start out in the front for the first race. So, as long as we can keep a hold of the first position, easy win. And they're not too aggressive on this first race, so we should be just fine. However, on race two and three, they're going to be super aggressive, and having your chariot destroyed is a real possibility if you're not careful. Now, one trick I've been using, and it works fairly well, is keeping at least a little bit of stamina at all times, and if you see anyone creeping up on you, hit that boost just for a little bit, get some separation, and they shouldn't be able to hit you. So, like, I got a little bit of stamina, he's coming up. You can see he got one little hit in there, but not too much, but unfortunately I didn't follow my own advice and keep enough stamina so he was able to catch up again. But normally, if you keep at least a decent amount of stamina on reserve, you can boost away from them. But luckily, it's the first race. First race is always easy. And the final lap. Oh, see, I did it again. I didn't keep my stamina. He's coming up. I can boost away, but I ran out of stamina again doing it. And now he's going to do some more damage. Get those mistakes out of here on the first race. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He made me go all over the place. Uh-oh. He's... Oh, crap. I'm going to have to give a good boost here and cut him off so he doesn't get the win. Ha-ha, <laughs> perfect. Boosted to the end. Oh, God. And first place, just barely. Just barely. Three, two, one. All right, this is where it's going to start getting tricky. This one's four laps. And from my experience, they're fairly aggressive. Ooh, look at that turn, though. All right, so don't do what I did in the first race. I'm going to stop boosting around right there. So if anyone creeps up on me, I got stamina to get away. But no issues there. We're going to boost all the way to the corner. Or to the turn, rather. Keep the stamina. That should be enough. You can see he's creeping up. I'm like, nope, boost away. Oh, you can't handle that turning. Oh, almost ran myself too low on stamina. We're good, though. And he's catching up. I boost away before he can do too much damage. He's going to get me a little bit here, though, I think. Oh, you jerk! How dare you! Take that! I think I knocked him off his chariot? I don't know. But I fell way back. That's no good. I'm drafting off this guy. Maybe I can regain my position a little bit. Push him out of the way. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright. Let's see, just build my stamina. Let's draft a little bit. That should be good. 
Okay, this is actually not a bad position to be in going into the final lap, I don't think. Wonder if I can jump into first here. Maybe. Oh, I took it way too shallow. Oh, that was terrible. I could have jumped into first easy. Alright, let's draft a little bit. Maybe I can at least, like, get third. See what we can do. There we go. Get third. Yeah. Oh, second. Ha, ha, ha. Well, that's not too bad. That puts me at eight points. What's second place got? Second place has five points. Hmm. There's a chance there could be a tie for first. I don't know what happens in that case. Well, I've got to do well here or hope that the guy in second place does poorly. If I knew who he was, I could just target him and try to destroy him. Although that would probably end up with me not getting any points at all. Let's ram this dude. Oh god! Badly timed ram. Alright, maybe we should just lay back. Avoid damage, because this is four laps. Maybe just stay back here in like fourth or so. There's fire too, so we gotta watch out for that. Seems to do a lot of damage to the chariot. Alright, well... I think this will be good. Oh my god, my horses are going crazy! Right, here we go. Well, that guy seems to be in bad shape. He's on fire a little bit. Or it was. Back in sixth, but we're not too far back from first, actually. Everyone's sort of clumped up here. There we go. Strong move into second place. Let's keep some of that stamina. Oh, I'm on fire somehow. That's not okay. Oh, look at that turn. That went quite well. Alright. Let's see. Take the inside track. Ram him. Alright, you better not be the one in second place. We're on the final lap. I've got lots of health or whatever you want to call it left. Integrity or not integrity, but well, structural integrity, I guess. But I got lots of health left, so I should not be too easy to uh, destroy. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that guy go! Somebody got him. Right, let's see, let's get some stamina for that final boost. Take that turn. Oh, it took it wide! Boost to the end! Oh, no! Oh, I ruined that. That was a terrible last turn. Hopefully... Oh, crap, that was him. Well, now what? Oh, I got 11 points. How did I get 11 points? I think it just gave me an extra point so there wasn't a tie. But whatever, I'll take the win. 150 drachma. Or actually, no, I did get 11 points. Because I had 8, and then I got 3 more. That makes sense. Okay. Well, I deserve that win then. And let's get out of here. Alright, so we are all finished. Any gear to take care of? Perhaps. Yeah, we got a few things apparently. Uh, Rain of Arrows. Let's see, what do I need for upgrades again? I might need regular stuff, or maybe not. No, actually, we seem alright. So, let's see, anything there? Tiltuba bow. This Assyrian bow was quite useful in the battle at Tiltuba for foot archers. Okay. 
Uh, I don't actually know what's new there. Well, whatever it was, apparently we saw it. And then we have a worn shield and a wooden shield. We've had those many times. Let's actually break these, though. Because I think I need... Oh, no, that gives me bronze, too. And so does that. Oh, well. I'll take some more bronze, I guess. And we are all done. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.